Hey guys, what's going on? It's Midas Sun, and today we're going to be doing a video on comparing bud runes to double astral runes. Uh, double astral runes require 77 rune crafting, and they're normally the most AFK method to go from 77 to 90 rune crafting. They're about 35k XP an hour. Uh, the other method we're going to be looking at is um, double astrals, and they are pretty click intensive. They're not very AFK at all, and uh, they are just a little bit better money. They're both similar experience but what we're going to be doing is yeah we're just going to be comparing the XP and GP of both. So the first method we're going to do is blood runes and we're going to do two hours of each so let's get into these blood runes. So the first method we're going to be starting with is blood runes. Uh, we're going to be doing two hours of this. Uh, got 3,559,832 starting experience and also get a little bit of mining XP, so we're going to note that. Uh, we've got 5,347,754. Uh, so we've got two hours on the clock here. We're going to start that, and we're going to get straight into it. And I'll see you guys in two hours. So if you can see my little time, we've got 43 seconds left, which is pretty uh, convenient for our last inventory. Just cut these ones out really quickly. And we'll just do our last one. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds left. Obviously, we're not going to start doing some more. So we ended up on 3,634,768 uh, runecrafting XP. I'm not really sure how much we gained. Um, you'll have to excuse me when we um, we'll look at it at the end. And uh, for our mining, we ended up with 5,356,958. And with that figure there, we can also calculate how much crafting XP we got. Um, so let's... Uh, head over to Castle's Bank and we'll get prepared for our two hours of um, Astrals. Also we got our 3068 Blood Runes. So we're about to get into the uh, the double Astrals. Uh, we're starting off with 2000 Law Runes, uh, two Astral Runes. Uh, those two are just for uh, the first teleport and then every Astral we get we put straight into the bag. Um, we shouldn't fill this up by the end because I think you get less than 8000 an hour and uh, it has a capacity of 16,000, so we'll just saw every astral we get in the bag. Uh, we have 196 dueling rings, uh, 94,836 uh, pure essence, but uh, that doesn't matter because we can just take how many astrals we got and divide it by half, and uh, 230 stamina pots. So those should be everything that we'll have to deduct at the end uh, to figure out exactly how much an hour. Uh, so we're starting, our starting XP is 3,636,000. 151 and our magic XP we'll note it it's not very important but we'll note it anyway uh, 14 million seven hundred and ninety two eight hundred and fifty six you just get a little bit of magic XP from teleporting there every every trip so without further ado let's start our two hours and let's get into it I'll see you guys when I am back finished with the two hours so we've got eight seconds left on our clock just finishing up the last little trip now Alright, let's head back and we'll have a look at what we've got left. So, we have gained a total of 14,843 Astral Runes. Um, that's a pretty decent amount, it's about 7,400 7, an hour. We've finished up with 3,702,550 and Magic XP 14,803,649. We've used up about oh, 20 dueling rings, I think. Uh, every single stamina pot that's there that's missing from when I started is actually just one dose, because I just take a dose of the four and then it goes into the three, so it's actually only one dose. So I've used about 43 doses over two hours. Um, but let's head over to the GE. Uh, I think that's everything I need to look at for now. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll head over to the GE and we'll look at all the XP rates and we'll uh, chuck some stuff up on the screen. So we'll start out with the calculations for the blood runes. Uh, overall we got 3,068. Rather than minusing the XP from the other XP, uh, we can figure out each blood rune is 23.8 XP. So if we times 23.8 by 3,068, we get a total of 73,018. If we divide that by 2, that equals 36,609 XP per hour. So that's about 36.5k for a fairly AFK while profiting um, runecrafting. So uh, also with that method, we'll look at the mining. So uh, for every for every blood rune, you get three mining experience pretty much. 
So if we times that by three, uh, we get 9,204. And then if we divide 9,204 by two, that's a 4.6 kxp per hour, which isn't much, but it's about one one mining XP for every 10, 10 rune crafting XP, which isn't actually all that bad because, you know, it's kind of the equivalent to the agility XP you get while fishing, while barbarian fishing or, um, yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah, and also the crafting experience. So, uh, for every, for every 12 mining experience, you get 16, um, for every 12 mining experience, you get 16 crafting. So, uh, without having to read out the calculations, it's six, 6,136 crafting XP per hour, which again, isn't too bad considering that, it, that you're not doing anything. It, it kind of just comes with the blood rune. So now we'll sell the blood rune, see how much GP we get per hour. Oh, we'll just sell them at minimum. All right, so we got 852k. So uh, if we quickly, let me just chuck that into a calculator. 852 divided by 2 is 426k XP per uh, GP per hour, which really isn't that bad, to be honest. Everywhere I was reading said it's about 350k, but obviously not. It's a little bit more. Um, so that's all the blood runes. So blood runes, fairly decent. Uh, now let's have a look at astrals. So let's start off by looking at the uh, XP for our double astral. So uh, we used 7,583 pure essence. Um, you get 8.7 XP per astral, but when you do double astrals, you only get XP for every single astral. So you don't you don't times it by 14,000. I'll times it by 7,583. So 7,583 times 8.7 XP per astral equals a total of 65,972 XP in two hours. So if we divide that by two, we get 32,986 XP per hour. Um, because I was doing this for two hours straight and it was a little bit hard to concentrate, I did get a little bit slower XP. I can normally average, you can normally average uh, between 33.5 and 34k XP, but I mean, for the sake of the video, I mean, 33k is a pretty, pretty decent uh, XP rate. So 33k XP per hour uh, with Astral's. Uh, as for magic XP, uh, I started off with, I'm not sure how much I did, but I looked at it before when I was doing my calculations. Um, I got about 5.4k magic XP per hour, so I barely got anything but about 10k total. 5.4k uh, XP magic per hour. Alright, now as for the cash. This is everything that we used in the two hours. So 10 staminas, 43 doses, cosmics for our repair pouch. Uh, so that's 213.3k XP per uh, what am I saying? 213k uh, GP that it costs us total. So if we divide this number here by two, we get 106k, uh, 647,000. That's how much it. That's how much we lose per hour. So we lose about 106k per hour, but we gain 3,107,000 in two hours so if we divide that by half uh, we get uh, 1 million five hundred and fifty three GP per hour 553 K per hour so if we take uh, 1 million five hundred and fifty three K minus 106 K uh, we total out to 1 million four hundred and forty seven thousand and fifty nine GP X GP per hour which is extremely good as you can see at the moment, these are 209 GP each, which is extremely expensive for astrals. They normally average around 180, 190. So I think I'm going to sell all my astrals off right now because that's an extremely high price, but um, they are normally fairly decent. So you can probably still be expecting at least 1.3 mil an hour, which I mean for skilling is just absolutely insane money. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, so pretty much... To summarise, Bloods, they're pretty AFK. Um, they're a little bit faster XP than um, Astral's, so they're AFK, a little bit faster XP, but obviously you're earning only 400k compared to 1.4 million, which is a big difference in price. So pretty much for Astral's, you're just less AFK, slight XP cut, but absolute massive profit gain. So it's totally up to you what you guys want to do. I think that bloods are really excellent if you if you kind of have something to do and like uh, like uni work or whatever, and you can just sit here and sit here and do it while while it's off the side. But if you got a bit of 
bit of time and you're looking to do efficiently definitely go for the astrals um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching leave a sub or like whatever you want to do i'll see you later